So the sound generator in, inside there, you said it's modeled. It's not samples. These are models for everything? It's hybrid. The engineers took uh, the samples as the start of the instrument, mm -hmm. but then they took, uh, took modeling. In uh, some of our older instruments, like you were explaining, the or your old Techniques organ, and, and, and even some of the older Roland instruments from maybe about five to ten years ago, and it is that recent. What the way the way they would get the the, the sounds into the instruments was what they would re literally record the instrument, whether it's a trumpet or um, uh, a piano or an organ or excuse me a, a violin sound. The way they would do it is they would record multiple samples or recordings. Uh, so say they would have one very loud, so a little bit softer, medium loud, and then very, very soft. And then depending on, say, how hard you hit the key, or in the case of the accordion, how hard you were pushing the bellows, d depended on which recording was played back. Do you, get, do you understand that? So this is was what, what was called multi-sampling. And in the case of, of that, they would have one for every single key, even on the piano. Every single key would have up to four recordings on it. So in case of some piano and organs, I mean, you'd have 700 recordings of an instrument to make just one sound on a, on a, on a piano or on an on accordion or on a, on a sound module. So the idea is that it, it's very meticulous. Uh, and of course, uh, you, the only problem with this is you have gaps, right? So the idea is is we would use the, we would use synthesis to kind of bridge those gaps together, right? And that's what was going on in older instruments. Now we're coming to this world of of what's called modeling, and modeling is is one hundred percent computer generated sound. So the idea is that, that, uh, that the computer itself is going to create the sound from nothing. As you play the, the key, the computer inside completely generates the sound. Do you understand that? Okay, so the difference here is like, uh, do, you guys, uh, do you guys know Tom Hanks, the movie, or uh, the actor? Yeah. Remember he, 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 would, he did that, uh, that movie Castaway where he was on the beach, right? Well. Well, it, the whole idea is sampling, the old style of, of sound recreation is like that movie. A real actor on a real set, you know, on a beach, and, and then there's a camera, right? And the camera is your recorder. It records the set, it records the actor, and samples what, what he's seeing, right? So that is that. Modeling is like Tom Hanks in the movie Toy Story. So if you guys understand Disney's Toy Story, it's an animated film, but it was a film 100% generated inside of a computer. No actor, no set, no nothing. That's modeling. That's modeling for visuals, right? Here, what we're doing is modeling for sound. So the idea behind the accordion, though, uh, is the best of both worlds. The one thing about modeling is it's very, very expensive at this point because the processing the computing power needed to do modeling for everything is atrocious right now. It, it is very, very uh, demanding on a computer processor to be able to do that for everything. So Roland had a piano called the V-Piano, which uh, basically was a 100% modeled piano. And that piano did only acoustic piano, had no other sounds in it. It was a $6,000, $7,000 piano, and that's all it did. You turn it on, it played piano, but the, 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 the beauty behind it, it had this 100% amazing, modeled, gorgeous piano that was in it. Uh, but I guess that's where I hope technology will eventually go so that everything will be modeling. But right now we're on this bridge <coughs> going between the two worlds, the, the sampled and modeling. So that's what we're doing with the, with the V accordions is you've got the sampling. Remember all the gaps? Well, then we take modeling and fill the gaps. The other thing about modeling is modeling not only for sound. The, the whole thing about the V accordions is that it's also uh, what's called behavior modeling. So not only can we model the sound of the instrument, the behaviors of the instrument can also be, uh, can, can be modeled. So in the case here, what we're, what we're able to do is we're able to model what bellows do on an acoustic instrument on a digital instrument. 
So we have we have gone in. The engineers have gone in and and completely um, completely researched what happens in inside of an acoustic accordion when those bellows move. And then they've recreated that using zeros and ones inside of a computer. And then when you move those bellows, that's what happens. The uh, all the little intricate things of what happened with volume, what happens with tone, what happens with pitch, right? The, sl the slower you move the bellows, well, innately on an acoustic instrument, your tone isn't as bright. Your, the pitch curve is, is slightly slower, so you'll get little bends in your pitch. On top of that, your, obviously your volume is, is um, uh, lower, right? But even on top of that, little bursts of movements as well will be will be modeled and and little will will offer different things right little brighter or harder attacks on on the note uh, all those little intricate things are are modeled and that whatever if you achieve that on on the v accordion the v accordion understands that you're doing that and will model that behavior as well.